Hello friends, my name is Dalit Soni and you are watching In News by Drishti IAS. In this episode, we will be talking about the space junk polluting the environment. Yes, when we talk about the satellite which has been launched from Earth to various orbits on the space, these satellites, after the expiry of their service, they become space debris or junk. There are high chances that they might enter into the Earth's atmosphere again and they might go for the pollution of that environment. So in today's episode, we will be seeing that how these are impacting the environment and we will see how these are impacting the Earth. Okay, so let's start our discussion here. Why satellite space junk may be a bad news for the environment. Okay, so in this episode, we will be discussing four or five topics over here. Here you can see patch. Here you can see we will be starting with the news and then we will be moving to the next one that is satellite surge. When we talk about the satellite surge, that means that how the number of satellites has increased. We will be talking about the in the past as well as what will be the future projections. Okay. After that, we will be talking about the key findings of the satellite pollution. So that is what we are talking about. So we will be seeing that what various reports has said about it. Then pollutant emission trends and impact of the satellite pollution. So we'll be seeing that what is the impact of this satellite pollution, what what kind of pollutant are there, all these things we'll be discussing. And then in the end, we'll be seeing ripple effect on the atmosphere of the earth. And then we will be having a practice question for your prelims. Okay. So this will be the point of discussion today. Now moving further, I would like to make this announcement that all the classes of Drishti ISS Mukherjee Nature Center will be conducted in Noida Sector 15 uh, and the uh, specific address is given over here that is 171 uh, slash 2 Block A Sector 15 Noida. Okay, And the nearest metro station is Noida Sector 15 and when we are talking about the uh, you know uh, conduction of these classes, so here you will be seeing that classes will be starting for Hindi medium from 9th of December 11.30 a.m. For English medium, 12th of December, 6 p.m. Okay. So specifically speaking, now Noida will be the new UPSC hub. So let's move further. If you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe it. And let's start our discussion. Recently, there was this, uh, you can say, news uh, or you can say th this particular topic has been in the news. That is how these space uh, debris are impacting the Earth's atmosphere. Here you can see while pollution from burnt up satellites high up in the atmosphere is seemingly a distant concern for humans. It might lead to ripple effect that will change the chemistry of the atmosphere. This is not a good news. Now, mostly when we talk about the satellites and when it becomes debris, we generally think that they will stay in the space and that will not be having any concern for humans. But when we are talking about the low earth satellites, etc., or the rocket launches, etc., because of which also there are emissions. Okay. Let's say there is a particular satellite which was there in the low earth orbit. Okay. Now this satellite is out of service. Now we are making sure that. Uh, recently you must have heard that we are getting these uh, rocket launchers back okay or we are getting some of the space debris back because of which what is happening is that when they enter into the earth's atmosphere because of the friction etc they might burn up and if they, there is something which is burning that means that there will be emissions and these emissions are not good for the environment okay that is one thing second thing is if we are talking about the rocket launchers when we talk about this rocket is these rockets are basically having some kind of fuel and when fuel is burning, that means that it will again contribute to the emission. Now, if there is emission, that means that there are high chances that will be impacting your atmosphere. So, in today's discussion, we will be talking about all these things. Now, first thing over here is that what is the satellite surge? How the number of satellites is increasing in the uh, present and what will be the future projection? So, here you can say from thousands to a half a million. Okay. So recently, if you are talking about the trends in 2020s, so nearly 10,000 active satellites are orbiting around the Earth. Okay, 10,000 satellites. Then we are saying that the projected number is one lakh by 2030, and in the subsequent decades, that can be half a million. That is nearly around your five lakh satellites. That means that huge debris we will be creating in the space. Okay, so that is the satellite search. And why is that there are satellites just because obviously every country is going for the space exploration. Every country is in a race to go for a space exploration. So that is why number of satellites will be increasing in the future. Now key findings on the satellite pollution. At the end of their life, satellites burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, releasing pollutants. As I told you, when the you know, time of uh, the service of that particular satellite is expired, they will enter into the Earth's atmosphere, mostly if they are in the lower orbit. 
now when they are entering into earth's atmosphere because of the friction because of their speed and the uh, you can say air resistance there are high chances that they might burn up and when they are burning they are emitting some kind of pollutants environmental concern if you talk about increasing satellite number correlate with the rising pollution raising concern among the scientists about the impact on the earth's atmosphere then coming to the reaction pollutant from the satellite burn up whatever satellites are burning up what are the pollutants which we are expecting here so uh, satellite re-entry disintegrates materials releasing aluminium and other metals into the upper atmosphere so basically here we are saying that aluminium plus other metals are releasing into the atmosphere okay so that is one thing one kind of pollutant that is there then so coming to the next one that is NOO in evidence 2023 says that 10% of the stratospheric aerosol particles contain metals from the satellite burn up okay when we are talking about the aerosol particles which are there in the stratosphere the 10% uh, of that is basically co uh, contributed by these metals okay which are burned up from the satellites now what are the impact of aerosol sector which we will be seeing in the next slide now moving further pollutant emission trends what kind of what kind of data we are here uh, dealing with emission of aluminium and the nitrogen oxide from the satellite re-entries we have seen that there will be aluminium and other metals will be there other than that nitrogen oxide will be there because of the burning of the satellites emission of aluminium and the nitrogen oxide in 2023 it was 3.3 billion grams okay and in 2022 it is 5.6 billion grams you can see that it is almost going to double in the next one year then moving further rocket launches we have seen that why satellite burn up is causing emissions and now we will be seeing that what is the impact of rocket launches now it contributes to the uh, pollutants like black carbon nitrogen oxide carbon monoxide aluminium oxide and the chlorine gases these are mostly you can say because of the fuel which is burning in the rocket launchers okay so these kind of pollutants will be there in the earth's atmosphere because rockets are launched from the uh, you can say earth sites that is why they, these pollutants will be there in the lower strata moving further we will be seeing what are the impact of these satellite pollution okay so here you can see this is satellite pollution now there are three impacts which are seen over here one is because of the aluminium oxide we have seen that there will be aluminium in the you can say atmosphere because of which there will be aluminium oxides so what is the impact of that then we will be talking about the release of shoot that is a uh, you can say kind of uh, substance which is uh, released after the uh, you can say burning up of the uh, satellites okay then coming to the next one that is metals which we have already seen now see release of aluminium oxide when aluminium oxide is there in the stratosphere that means that it will be there in the presence of ozone okay now ozone is there and these oxides are there that is basically o3 plus al2o3 oxides like that and now this will impact the ozone over there that means actually uh, go for the depletion of the ozone okay this reaction will happen and this ozone will break down into oxygen plus nascent oxygen okay so that means that ultimately this ozone is breaking when ozone is breaking that means there will be depletion of the ozone in the stratosphere okay now moving further if there is a depletion that means that ozone hole will be generated over there so that is the impact so release of aluminum oxide in the stratosphere that will go for the ozone layer depletion that threads to the Montreal Protocol. Montreal Protocol is basically a protocol which is uh, uh, there for the reduction of the chlorofluorocarbons. Okay, and it is one of the uh, most successful environment treaty. Okay, so that is one the, one thing. Moving to the next one, that is the release of shoot. Now, shoot is the substance which has the capacity to absorb the heat which is coming from the sun. Now, if shoot is absorbing the heat which is coming from the sun, that will um, uh, ultimately contribute to the global warming or the heating effect okay so that is there it will go for the heating effect coming to the next one release of metals as i told you these metals if they are present in the earth's atmosphere they will also go for the reactions okay so this will uh, contribute to accelerated chemical reactions so there will be chemical reactions in the atmosphere okay that can lead to your acid rain etc etc coming to the next one cloud condensation condensation nuclei you know that when we talk about the cloud condensation so there are high chances that this condensation happen on the nuclei now these shoots or the you know the metals which are there the, these will actually act as a nuclei on which the condensation can happen okay so that might work as a artificial rain as well okay so that is their artificial rain when we talk about we create it but this is somehow happening and that is not because of your nature's phenomena this is because the or you can say concentration of metal has been increasing in the atmosphere and which is acting as a nuclei on the clouds okay 
So these are the impact of the satellite pollution. Now ripple effect on the earth. All these things are happening near or inside the earth's atmosphere. So if there is a small change that will contribute to uh, effect on the earth's atmosphere. So small atmospheric change could disturb the earth environment causing widespread ecological and the climatic consequences impact on the troposphere and the stratosphere. We have talked about the troposphere when uh, you can say all these uh, rocket launches are happening. So these are basically impacting the troposphere. When we talk about the stratosphere, these are basically because of the satellite burn etc. which is causing harm to the ozone layer. Okay. So these are the ripple effects on the earth. So we have seen that how these satellites are after their surveys are uh, you know converting into the space junk and how they are polluting the environment of the earth and how they are impacting us. Okay. So now in the end, we'll be seeing a practice question that is there for you. Which of the following pollutant is not commonly associated with the rocket launch? Black carbon, aluminum oxide, chlorine gases or sulfur dioxide. Okay. So you can attempt this question and answer to me in the comment box. With that, I would like to take your leave. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe it. Have a nice day. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.